Okay, family, this is part one of the affordable gift ideas. This is gift number one. This is the long and most talked about anticipated candle basket um, that I'm going to be putting together tonight. Um, everything that I'm using to put together this gift, the candles, everything came from Dollar Tree. Um, for this particular co-worker, I would like to give her a little bit more. Um, so I have more candles in the basket than I would put, let's say, for just a standard co-worker gift. Um, so this is gift number one. Before we get into that, I have a tour at Walmart that I recorded on Sunday going down their gift aisle. These are ready grab and go gifts that you can just go grab them, get you a gift bag from Dollar Tree and some tissue paper and roll, ready roll. If you're not crafty, if you don't want to be bothered with doing um, these homemade baskets or putting together the gifts, um, they have put the thought in it for you already and they're pretty affordable. The aisle starts with gifts at $49.98 and it goes all the way down to a dollar. So that is going to be included. So watch that and then come back to this candle basket. Now, right now they have an entire aisle of ready to go gifts. Um... They have all of the massagers that you see, the foot spa, um, and the prices are pretty reasonable, okay? It seems like this part of the aisle is the highest price gift, which starts at $49.88. Here's something that I hope that I get under the Christmas tree. This is a vanity speaker. You can charge your phone, play music. It's lighted on the side. Yes. I'm going to be telling my Santa Claus that I would like this, okay? Because you guys know I love the get readies with me and I love the music and I need a bigger mirror to capture all of this beauty that I got going on, okay? So that is $49.88. So I already walked this entire aisle and it starts from higher price to lower price. So they already have like... Uh, Looks like that comes with warm, cozy blanket, comes with body wash, lotion, and a body spray, okay, from Body, body Coology, Body Coology, well, you guys can read. Um, look at this makeup brush set, now you know, I would love that too, and that is 1988. White diamonds, uh, you know, if you like white diamonds, that's good. To me, that smells like an old lady. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion of it. They have the gifts for the men, the body wash gifts. Look at these makeup sets. I'm telling y'all. Again, more massagers, foot massagers. And those prices are $14.88. The back massager, the neck massager. So, you know, you see them every year at Christmas. But look at these makeup sets. 89 piece set for $14.88. Not bad. This is slippers with a what is this? Body cream, body wash, and a body spray. I mean, if you want to put all these things together, but if you don't have the time, more makeup brushes. If you don't have the time, these are things that you can just roll with you know what I mean 1488 can't beat that oh look at those brushes ladies ladies yeah now we all know that um, Dollar Tree has bath bombs they have these things so you could just buy the container and you could do recreate these things guys so just giving you some ideas but again, if you're not crafty, if you don't feel like being bothered, you can always come here for $9.88. There's a mirror, some brushes, another makeup set. Cute brushes in it. It's a nice, that's a nice cute kit. Perfect face makeup collection. The color workshop. 
I never tried any of their stuff. Um, again, more makeup stuff. And that price is $9.88. And they go all the way up. No, you could pass. You're fine. Thank you. Um, this one right here, this is a bath bomb set. And it's in the nice Christmas um, packaging. It is $9.88. Um, again, like I said, a lot of this stuff, guys, you can recreate. One of my affordable gifts, I'm going to be doing a little makeup um, set. Okay, so it's really up to you how much money you want to spend. This is a hand wash and hand lotion. This is not bad for um, $4.88. Vanilla coconut scented. Yeah, these this is a nice thing. And for $4.88, you can't beat that. And this, what, what scent is this? Sorry, guys. Cucumber melon. Oh, I love that. I love cucumber. And this is an apple scented one. Okay, so then it goes into the kids sets. Now, Walmart has the uh, Crayola bath paints for the kids I've never showed you guys they even have the uh, kids bath bombs so like I said you could create that now look at that OMG for 488 guys look at the eyeshadow palettes why do they have them all the way up there I want them it's 14 piece for 488 yeah that's a nice gift for that person that likes makeup I want that myself I wish it wasn't so high. They have the $1 stocking stuff as Dollar Tree has different kind of hand sanitizers. What is this? Flavored lip balm for a dollar. I mean, it's cute. Scented bath bombs. I can't see. Body sprays from Bodycology. You can scratch and sniff. Let me. It smells pretty good for a dollar. Dollar Tree has these. This is what I was just telling you about the bath finger paint for the kids. So you could put together your own bag for your nieces, nephews, or if you have small kids. So I think it's cool that they have a little dollar section. One of these. This is a dollar. A massager. That's nice. And they even have these. Oh yeah, you could put this in there with some lotion. Three bucks. You got a gift. More of the hand paints. The bath bombs. For your little girl who loves Mickey and Minnie. This is Fingerlings Banana Scented Body Wash. So cute. And the price for that is $4.88. And then other little kits. These are $3. You get a scrunchy thing to wash with. And this is bath gel and body lotion for 3 bucks. Like I said, if you're not crafty and you don't feel like putting together baskets, just roll with this. This is $3. You get... What do you get? I see body cream. And I don't know what that is. A body spray and body cream for three bucks. Okay. Get the look. I don't know what those are. If those are highlighters or something. I wish they wouldn't have them up so high. Who's that tall? Look at what you get for $4.88, guys. You get a scrunchy body lotion, bath gel, and a body spray. Okay ready to go cosmetic bags for 488 those are cute look at this you get a mug hand cream and bath fizzers and then you get the mug and the price for that is 488 okay again in my opinion a lot of these things you can recreate but after you do the packaging that might be worth it and those are nice mugs they're not um cheesy mugs. These are nice mugs. It's 
for the hair. So this is the start of their gift aisle. I didn't see this the other night when I was here. Um, there's the ornaments over there. Um, so we're going to be putting together the candle basket. And this is the start of the November videos of the affordable gift, Dollar Tree affordable gifts. For co-workers, family members, friends, um, you don't have to break the budget to say, I love you, happy holidays. Okay? Stay tuned. Before we get to the candle basket, guys, I went down this aisle, okay? Remember the aisle with the tinsel? Look at this bin. This is a bin they have in the back. I guess they have so many ornaments, but look at this pink elephant. Oh my freaking goodness. Oh my God. Look at these flamingos. And I have a co-worker who loves flamingos. This is a good co-worker Christmas gift. It doesn't have to be much, but this is just too freaking much. Okay? When I say too freaking much, not price-wise, I mean the design. Look at this elephant. OMG. Look at the gold Christmas truck. He's coming home with me. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, he's coming home with me. And they have the red Christmas truck. OMG. Now I have the ones from Dollar Tree. Oh my God. So you see, Dollar Tree has nice ornaments, but for a dollar more, these just take it up. These take it up several notches. Um, Dollar Tree has similar ones, so I would just rock with the ones from Dollar Tree. Um, look at the, look at this. I, I just can't get over their ornaments this year. I just can't get over. Look at the owls. Look at the detail. For $1.98, guys. Now, I wonder, can you put these around a candle? I would buy these to put this around a candle. See, this is an ornament, but I would put these around candles. Oh, my God. These are beautiful. I'm going to get some. Oh, I didn't come in here for this, y'all. Look at the dancers. Look at the detail of the ballerinas. Look at the one wearing white. They have more truck, gold trucks there. Um, what is this? Polar bears. Oh my God, that one's kind of broken. Look at the polar bear. Look at this freaking polar bear. This can't be a dollar ninety-eight. It sure can be a dollar ninety. Dollar ninety-seven. Look at these. Oh my God. Y'all can't tell me these ornaments aren't the bomb.com. Look at the detail. I'm in love. I'm in love, guys. Okay, I had to share that. Now let's get to the candle basket. Okay, guys, we're getting ready. Um, what you're going to need is a piece of cardboard, um, wrapping paper to cover it. Um, whatever you're going to be using for whatever basket you're going to be doing. So I have all my candles and I'm going to be, instead of a basket, I thought this would be really, really cute and it's reusable. Um, I have my little filler I'm going to put on the bottom and we're going to be ready to go. Okay. So let me get the camera set up. Okay, guys, trying to get the camera situated so you can see what I'm doing this is not easy y'all I really have to find a tripod that fits my phone sorry okay so basically I have the cardboard because I'm going to use it as support in the basket so this is cut a little bit too wide so I'm going to recut it I was able to uh, vote this morning before work, so that was a good thing. Mm. 
going to make sure it fits just to give the basket support, okay? So why we need the wrapping paper is because you don't want this ugly piece of cardboard. And I might have cut a little bit of a big, too big of a piece. Keep it neat as possible. Now, it's up to you what you put, what wrapping paper you pick. That's not even big enough. I shouldn't even cut it. Jesus! Take the wheel. You just want to cover the cardboard, guys, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm rusty with the wrapping, y'all. I ain't wrapped gifts since last year, okay? Give me some, you know, cut me some slack. Come on, Martha Stewart. Come on, Martha Stewart. I need her. I need you right now, Martha Stewart. Okay, my tape is not sticking to the cardboard. Okay, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Don't judge me. This is going to come out nice. All right, skip ad. Next song. My husband bought um my husband bought this new like subwoofer Bluetooth speaker for the living room and it has a lot of bass. I told y'all my baby not handy. I mean, I'm not happy that I'm having to do this. So as you can see, Walmart has a lot of affordable, ready-to-go gifts. This might not be your thing. You might not have time. You might be busy. Um, I like putting together the gifts. And I like when I know somebody and know what they like. It makes me feel good to give them something that I know they're going to enjoy. Some of those pre-ready-to-go gifts, I myself, y'all know I love makeup. Um, an old supervisor of mine bought me this big from Ulta Beauty eyeshadow set. And I think I use it like maybe once. So it's really nice when you, when you get somebody something that you know that they're going to enjoy and use. And I know this particular friend loves, co-worker friend loves candles, okay? I know she loves candles. It might not be Yankee candles, okay? Because I'm not on a Yankee candle budget, but I know she'll like these candles. I love Old Williamsburg, most of them, Old Williamsburg candles. So basically, this is what we just wanted to cover that cardboard. And what you want to figure out is how do you want to position your gifts, okay? I was playing around with it, and I had them situated and knocked them over. So now I have to figure this out. So what I'm doing is putting some bag filler on the base. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. You guys see? Okay, so we have the bag filler. And what I'm thinking is I can't. I love these. I don't even want to give this away. If you guys remember my haul, this is the um, pineapple upside down cake candle. I love it. I love it. Okay. I don't even want to give it away, but so that should make, you know, well, y'all know me. I always don't want to give things away, but so I'm going to put that like so. Okay. I'm going to try to do it where you guys can see. And then um, this friend lost her mother January 2018, and she's still dealing with it. So 
I know she loves candles, but I wanted to give her something that maybe might make her feel better. And this is the Woodwick candles, and this is notes of lemon and jasmine, and it's for joy and laughter. Okay? It smells good, guys. Now, this is not an old Williamsburg candle, but it does smell good. And then this one is the same maker. It's a wood wick and it says notes of lavender and vanilla and it's for sleep. Okay. And hopefully it will make her feel good. Okay. So as you guys can see, like so. So we have three candles there. Now I only was going to give her one, but I'm not going to be greedy. These are the old Williamsburg candles. This is herb garden citrus and um, sage smells great and this is herb garden rosemary and mint so how I'm gonna position these is like so okay it's like so now what I was thinking of is possibly putting some duct tape but I you know I don't want the duct tape to show just to hold these in place Okay, because this is glass, but it's holding pretty steady. The cardboard comes into play as a support, okay? And I really should have cut it a little bit smaller, but the cellophane wrap is going to hold that together, okay? Now, I have only just you know only in my video okay I might have to get some duct tape y'all to hold these in place let me pause because we're not gonna have nothing rolling all over the place hold on just want to make sure we're back recording so what I'm gonna do to hold these two candles in place is put some duct tape okay it would have been easier if I would have gotten a standard like basket and listen if this is for you know that co-worker and you have a budget you don't have to give all these candles I just know she loves candles I'm waiting to skip that ad y'all I just know she loves candles but if you on a real tight budget and you only could do three candles you only could do one candle they do have, and I, I did a Dollar Tree haul where they had like four plastic baskets for a dollar. You could just put two candles or one candle in one. Even those clear cellophane holiday bags, um, they say loot bags. You easily can use one of them and put a candle inside there and call it a day, okay? So what I'm going to do just to hold these candles in place, let's just put a little duct tape. blurry I don't know what's going on with this camera y'all sorry <clears throat> my husband bought a camera but neither one of us know <laughs> how to hook it up and well something else you could I think you would be also used because it's not going to be a permanent stick is even hot glue to be honest with you Okay, so what you guys seen me haul before, this is a candle snuffer. Um, I'm giving her the silver one because Dollar Tree items tend to, they tend to, when you buy gold tone items, I don't want to be embarrassed and have it faded and, and you know, have her talk junk. Cause people will sure talk junk about you. I also have some wax melts, okay? All right. Just going to hold that there. Hold on. Hold on. Once you wrap it with cellophane, it's going to come together. And the cellophane will hold it together. 
Again, you can put, can position it any way you want. The cardboard helps to give it a back to support. What you can do is pre-cut your cellophane, which I should have done, so it's quicker. But we learning, y'all. We learning. I have never used a tray like this to make a basket, but I thought it would be a cute idea. Okay, and it's something that they can keep and reuse over and over again. Now, this is the same um, cellophane that I have left over from, from the uh, housewoman basket. Okay? And this bag filler will work for a few more gifts. So when I think add up the total price of the gifts, I don't count them because, you know, it's not just for one gift. You know what I mean? I'm stretching it for more than one gift. And I also picked up just standard red and green ribbon that we're going to curl. So, and we'll use that. That will carry me through the holiday season. I won't have to buy any more ribbon. So you're just going to guesstimate how much you want to use. Because I want to make sure this is held together, I'm going to guesstimate a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know how he has this hooked up. All right, so we're going to pick up the basket. All right, so you guys... So the cellophane helps hold it together. What I think I want to do is I want to put a little tape. I want to put a little tape on the back of the wax melt and the candle snuffer and stick that to the cardboard. I got tape there. And while we have it open, we're going to place our candy. I don't want to listen to no Ghostbusters. Sorry, y'all. gonna place our candy canes okay
Only my videos, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself. Hold on. Okay, guys. I had to. I had to wrap it off camera. Okay. So here we are. And I'll make sure you get a better view of it. I'm telling you. When I do the next one, I'm going to have a, a better tripod situation. Seriously. I, I'm telling you. So what we're doing is we're getting our ribbon ready. Okay, so again, what we're doing now, guys, is we're cutting, we cut our ribbon, and we're going to be tying our ribbon, okay? So I'm going to turn the basket around so I can see. It's not easy doing this on camera, so please excuse me. Now, I have a lot of these red chuck ornaments from Dollar Tree. I do not want all of these red trucks around my tree. So since I have quite a few, I'm going to attach it to the basket. And that's also something that she can have year round. I don't know if you guys know how to curl ribbon going to take the scissor and run it down. Let me give you a better view. <laughs> and I might have made this ribbon a little bit too long. It's not. Make it shorter. There we go. We getting it. So this is our candle basket. Um, the ornament is optional. When I add up the cost of the gift, I do not include the packaging, okay? I don't include the packaging. Mistake that I made was I didn't cut enough cellophane. So I suggest before you put your basket together, pre-cut your cellophane, make sure you have enough and place it underneath your base because the cellophane is what helps hold the basket together. Um, another thing, let me push this back some. Another thing I would suggest is, um, I don't know what else I would suggest, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't cut enough cellophane, okay? I could have cut a little bit more cellophane. Um, the cost of this basket, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dollars worth of items. And the reusable candy dish, a dollar. So if you want to count that eight. I already had the wrap, okay? 
Um, and this red and green ribbon, I'm not going to count towards the gift budget because I'm going to use that and have enough ribbon for the rest of this Christmas season. And it was a dollar parole. So that's $2. So I don't count gift packaging when I talk about affordable gifts. If you want to add that into the budget, um, go ahead. Um, but this is the candy, uh, the candle basket. Okay. So she has a total of one, two, three, four, five candles, a candle wax, a candle snuffer. And this is a really nice Christmas gift. Okay. And you see why I wrapped the cardboard. Okay. So it looks good from the back. Now, if you wanted to, if you were going to put more than one candle wax in here, you could have taken the candle wax to the back. So you have a gift that goes 360 degrees around. And I think adding the ornament is just the icing on the cake. And also, I only put a little bit of candies in the bottom. You could put more candy um, in it. But um, this is the candle basket. So you can make affordable gifts. So this is 8 bucks. Okay, and eight dollars you have a nice Christmas gift for somebody. Okay, that's not a lot of money. You can do ten dollars per person, you could do five dollars per person. Um, if this was a co worker that I didn't work with as directly or that I didn't have, you know, more of a bond with, um, this particular co worker I would still speak to if I left the job. You know, we have those co workers that once you leave the company, you don't speak to them no more. If it was that type of co-worker, maybe I would put the budget down to $3. Um, but again, I've said it before and I'm going to tell you again. All of these items that you see me buy, I like and I use myself. I don't give anybody anything that I would not use. First of all, I'm not, I don't have $5 to waste on a gift that somebody's going to re-gift or, or never use. And it gets ended up in the Goodwill or garbage. So I like to give people things that I know that they'll use and I know that she will use this and this is your Dollar Tree affordable candle gift basket and I attached a ornament to it and those are two items that she can reuse Christmas season after Christmas season is the ornament and the candy tray okay so I hope that this helps y'all I'm sorry for all the bloopers I'm gonna be on my game next time I do need to just go to the store and get me um, a new tripod. Enough is enough already. And uh, I thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, okay?